So Joey Logano. Oh, the big crash along the front straightaway, including Stenhouse in 62 of Brendan Gaughan, the 15 of Michael Lynette. So the caution comes out again. Oh, no. It'll here be our 10th. Man, look at all the damage and you got right here. This car's been upside down. This is Joe Nemechek. Take a look, boy. Holy cow. Now, where's Joe Nemechek? Oh, 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 right there. Gosh. Who got in? And, and it was the 16 with an Stenhouse. Yeah. Gracious. He ends up going over. Take another look. Oh. oh. Okay, does that qualify or anything's going to get crazy? <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. I think that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. I don't know if a Nick or a Stenhouse got any help there, but he just sort of saw him shoot left. You know what's neat about that? Joe kept driving that car. He was still driving it when it came on the wheel. He's, he's still on the track. Right side, I remember Dale Earnhardt Sr. Right did that one day. Get out. Yep. Turned over and brought it on back to the pit area. I think yep. he can finish the did, race, guys. Did it at Daytona. He watched the race from last, last year here. And he noticed that Eric Jones was running three or four Yellow feet. Cautions caution. out. John West Townley brings out the caution. With the exception of Christopher Bell that wanted Everybody this restart. Everybody wanted it other yeah. than Bell, right? Uh, watch that replay. It looked like Spencer Gallagher got in the quarter panel. And Helped him around a little. Definitely got a little help. Hard hit. Christopher Bell strong on the bottom. Can he make it stick? Can he get up in front of Rhodes? He, he does. does. And the again. yellow is out. Out again, turn one. John West Townley and Spencer Gallagher together with our reporters. John West Townley and Spencer Gallagher exchanging words. And, oh, they're going <laughs> at it. This is going to be good here. I hope the trucks aren't coming. John West Townley and Spencer Gallagher down there in turn one. <laughs> and there's points for a takedown. And the fans are loving it. Townley and Gallagher. John West Townley landed a couple of good blows there. And I'm not yeah. sure if the fight was over or they just got too tired to continue. <laughs> Wally, you referred to it a moment ago. The 52 and 19 getting together on the pit lane. Polly Haraka, there you see him in the 52, got into Alex Kennedy. Both set to make their Sprint Cup debut today. And here's a replay of what happened. That's just guys oh. not paying attention. That's, That's all right. that is. 19, the white machine of Alex Kennedy. And Polly Haraka apparently... Not watching what's going on in front of him, just I, uh, drilled it. And Montoya got a little wheel hop there again. Yes. Oh. Problems for Denny Hamlin. I'm not sure where that's at. So is that over off a of four coming down the chute there? <laughs> <laughs> I think we all will. Here's the oh, issue yeah. with Denny Hamlin. He got tagged. In yeah, order had to, to hit that angle, he got hit. And look at this, a little fire from where Denny Hamlin was sliding through the grass. Tough day for Denny Hamlin, Chris. Well, listen, and Denny on the radio after that contact, he uh, wanted to know immediately who got into him because he was having to check up because of a slower car in front of him, and uh, the team did tell him the 14. So obviously Denny Hamlin having a tough couple weeks here. He told us earlier this week that last week was probably the toughest race he's ever had to do, and this week, nothing getting better. Matt? In Knoxville. Did his job, oh, and there's the big pileup. This is yeah, yeah, going to yeah, bring yeah, out the yeah. caution again, where they're just piling and be able to get stopped. It's turning into a demolition derby. Heavenly Father, we thank you tonight for all your blessings. You said, "In all things, give thanks." So we want to thank you tonight for these mighty machines that you brought before us. Thank you for the Dodges and the Toyotas. Thank you for the Fords. And most of all, we thank you for Roush and Yates partnering to give us the power that we see before us tonight. Thank you for GM Performance Technology and the R07 engines. Thank you for Sunoco Racing Fuel and Goodyear tires that bring performance and power to the track. 
Lord, I want to thank you for my smoking hot wife tonight, Lisa. My two children, Eli and Emma, or as we like to call them, the little E's. Lord, I pray you bless the drivers and use them tonight. May they put on a performance worthy of this great track. In Jesus' name, boogity, 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 amen. Like he was thinking about doing it again. And Rusty Wallace spins here in turn eight. Dale Jarrett goes over, turn gets up on the side, he hits the base. And Davy Jones is involved. Our check going to be okay with me. Well, <laughs> I understand. <laughs> but I feel comfortable that he is okay because, you know, he got into that bank and, and it just, he, he was dodging Rusty Wallace. We understand that he has that on the radio and that worker is trying to push him over. The worker just needs one more hand there. Maybe I'll uh, go there and help him. Uh, now the record's coming there. I'd go to help do it myself, but they're going to get there before I could. He's only about uh, oh, 75 yards from me. Now they're going to get it over there. There oh, we go. Now to get him out going. He'd stay in the lead lap. I was going to say, he uh, could very easily get he that said, thing going again. He said, give me a push. Give me a push. That's what he's saying to the guys. Give me yeah. a push. A lot better start for Shane Neal that time. Bobby Hamilton tucks right in behind him as they work their way into turn number one. Ooh, Shane got a really good start right now, but here he goes again. Bobby drives to the outside. He pulls he up beside him again, Kenny. My gosh, this is incredible. They're big. Oh, oh, they hit no, the wall. No. Bobby Hamilton up almost on two wheels and into the wall. The caution's going to fly again. That's Chad Chaffin will move into the top spot, but we haven't got the white flag yet. We will have another green-white checker. I knew it was going to happen. I drew the picture. I said, your leader is a young kid. You got it. the veteran on the outside. They are still wrecking as we look at Bobby it. Bobby Hamilton right now is wide open, right wide open, turning into chain mill. Okay. Bobby Hamilton can't see anything right now. He's got smoke flying out of that truck. And like you said, he's got smoke coming out of ear, his ears, too. Oh, and it isn't over. We got a clean start. Let's see if the Bobby Hamilton racing truck of Chad Chapman can win the race for the boss. Into turns one and two, Chad Chaffin with a pretty comfortable lead over David Starr, and now Starr reels him back in as they go down the back stretch. Chad gets off the corner pretty well. Look at David Starr. Whoa! Oh, got another crash. Here we go again. Up on the side. That's the 14 of sliding sideways down the back stretch. Oh Lord. Unbelievable. Oh, Andy Lord. Houston getting into it, coming out of turn number two. And now the safety crews will immediately get out and try to take care of the 14 of nope. And NASCAR's trying to get him to get down and get off the racetrack. We got a battle for the lead down the back stretch, though. Here Kyle, Kyle Busch in the five, side by side with Clint Boyer under 21. Watching him, watching the flag man, no sign of yellow. Bush has the lead, Boyer wants it. Here comes Benson. They are almost three wide as they come off the corner. No caution, here come the leaders. Boyer holds it, pushes right with them. Four cars under a blanket. Two by two with two to go. And, and Yaley is off the racetrack. He's out of harm's way. Here they come, and Kyle Busch is going to try to hold him off. Boyer taps Oh, it. they're sideways. Look at Robbie Gordon on the high side. He gets all four cars, all the leaders. Caution comes out as Michael Waltrip makes the pass. And the checkered flag is out. And it's going to wave over Michael Waltrip, who unofficially is our winner. We will have to await a review from NASCAR of the scoring at the time the field was frozen under caution. And we have a car into the tire barriers. That's Steve Park. This is at the exit of turn number two. I think that's where Richard Petty hit the wall here a exactly. few years ago. It sure is. Yeah, it's a full course caution. First time this afternoon. Comes on lap number 25. Ooh, Park is way up on the tires and the, uh, the barriers. John Kernan has a report. They just talked to Steve on the uh, radio, and they asked him if he was okay. He said, yeah, I'm all right. Then they asked him, what happened? He said, I have no idea what happened. Folks, look here what happened. Steve Park is going to come to watch as he backs in the fence. Overturns completely in the air, comes down on all four. Looks like those guys at the X Games, the way they do those uh, <laughs> skates. Wow. Man, oh, man. That was a... Here. Oh, and we have Derek, Derek Cope, Cope into the tires. That's up at the top of the hill. Yeah, that definitely would cause a caution. Comes in the corner, and all of a sudden, 
the car just goes straight like the left front tire might have been down or something. He drives into the tires and just drives right through them. And up on the bank, now from the onboard, State Fair Corn Dog on board. Here he comes. It's like the left front tire went yeah, flat. Yeah, that's the way it looked. That's too bad. Derek uh, needed a good run to get him up in the top. Oh, another car up on the wall here. It's Ken Schrader. Just like the one car. Oh, he, and he stays on the roof. Yeah. Steve Park landed on all fours, but Schrader is upside down in exactly the same area of the racetrack that Steve Park had his crash early on. Let's take a look at it. Again, it's just about the same type of crash. He goes over once, one and a half times, and then rolls back on the hood. Looked like he was going to roll on the wheels, and yeah. all of a sudden, uh oh, he's going to go down and talk to somebody. No, nope. uh -oh. guess he just ran across the racetrack. Maybe looking for somebody, but I think he's uh, more interested in. He was he was in the thing. You know, remember a few moments ago when we saw those cars uh, passing Bobby Hamilton down in turn 11. There were a lot of cars that were running awfully close together there, but we didn't see him make a gesture. All those cars have gone by.